What's up everybody, Zario here, welcome to another ADS play, um, and the first uh, of many um, that I will be doing of, I'm sure, in, in the future years to come. Um, this is going to be my first playthrough of a Fallout game from Bethesda, uh, Fallout 4, and I personally have never played a fallout game before uh and a lot of people have been actually suggesting to me that i play a fallout game and um i never did get i would say i, I never did get used to um or ne ne not even get used to I, I'm going down the wrong way I never did get around to playing any Fallout games and I told myself when Fallout 4 was announced if I was going to start playing with any Fallout game this was going to be the one I was going to start with so here we are with Fallout 4 um, another thing I want to throw out some disclaimers there as, as you can probably hear in my voice it is kind of nasally I am sick so you guys may not hear as much commentary in this um uh, in this playthrough i was saying like the earlier parts of the playthrough you may not hear as much commentary as i normally would put in my playthroughs because you know i am nasally and you know i am sick and i don't i don't really want to talk too much because of that um and also i don't really know what to expect from a fallout game i don't know what to expect from a fallout game I know other people have played past Fallout games and they may have wanted to or maybe they're expecting it to be played a certain way. Now understand that there's two different ways to play this uh, video game in either third person or first person and I want to uh, give the game a chance in a way that people may have not have normally uh, seen it in past Fallout games, which is which was exclusively in like first person, so I want to give that third person feel. So I'm gonna try to play it in third person as much as I can. I don't know if there's gonna be certain parts of the game where it's only is, uh, you, where you have to play it in third person or where you have to play it in first person, but I'm gonna try to see from there. So first things first. Okay, so I got settings, crew. So, so they're not letting you seems like they're not letting you do anything like you gotta press confirm from there like they won't let you go to settings right away <clears throat> you know one of the major games announced at e3 by the way a lot of people were excited for this it's been like what seven years i don't, I don't think it's been seven years since new vegas has it oh i'm not sure like the time span between new vegas and this one um, you know, Fallout has always been like a post-apocalyptic type game. Uh, it's, it's always been like the the primary setting for a lot of these games, a lot of these Fallout games. It's always been like a post-apocalyptic time, and I'm uh, pretty sure this is this isn't going to be any different. I mean, I've seen the E3 trailers, so. See what this is about. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, 
fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year. That's that big TF power suit right there. We stand on the brink of total war. Uh, nuclear warheads and shit, so they got a lot going on. And I am afraid. So, so this was around like what World War Two? Myself. If I'm not mistaken, World War Two. For my wife. During like the 1940s, around that time. For my infant son. Because of my time in the army. Oh, it's a whole army of them. Okay, well, this is like some. Well, one of them has like the big war. power suit on. The other ones just have on like regular army yeah. gear. It seems like. And now we get to the character creation process, which in itself is probably going to take. Never changes. Knock him dead a the long time. time. You think? So, Absolutely. me, I'm a very observant person. So I noticed a lot of like screenshots of people doing things with the with the um with the character creation. I seen somebody make like the main character f from uh The Witcher Three, <clears throat> and uh, many other things. So here's what I'm gonna try to do at first, I, just for fun. I want to try to make Morgan Freeman. If we can make Morgan Freeman in this game, I, you know what? That might be my character to play with. Uh, hey, my turn, big guy. Oh, never mind. You can actually switch to the woman, I guess. Yeah, but I don't want to switch to her. Here. I'm assuming you can switch to her and like change her up before you actually get done with your options, just to make sure that the woman looks like the way you want her to look like. Because I believe that, based on what they said at E3, that does affect the uh, looks of the baby. So, yeah, you want to make sure that that's uh, taken care of. So, first off, let's start with the face. There seem to be a lot of options here. Got the forehead. Look, look, we got the eyebrows, too, right on the eyelids. Damn, so they got multiple... There's a lot. Yeah, like there's a lot you could do. All right. Uh, geez, I don't, uh, all right. So I guess we'll again, like we're gonna try to make Morgan Freeman. So first we gotta get the hair right. Um, let's check out all these first of all. The boot camp. The bald head. The balding. I don't want to name each of them. I just want to go by each of them. Because there seems to be like a lot of options here. And I feel like I'm going to be here for like hours on end trying to figure out what's what. Oh, yes, we can call that one the Barack Obama. Or the high top. Morgan Freeman has a high top, doesn't he? The stunning intellect. Yeah, that sounds like Morgan Freeman. Urban Ranger. Or as we like to call it in America, the fuck boy. Uh, let's see. All these emo ass hairstyles, man. Oh, uh, yes, the Super Saiyan. <laughs> um, messy hair. Mm, uh, th that one got a ponytail on the back of it. Top knot. Running. I kind of wish there was a way you could like rotate them all the way around so you could see in the back of their head. And the beatnik. All right. So since we're going with a Morgan Freeman look, you know, the high top fade is obviously like where we got to go to. Sculpt the forehead. I don't know what we're sculpting here because I can't really see any changes. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, does Morgan Freeman have like a slanted head? I don't know. Is it slanted? Or is it out? I don't really know. 
So this is what I mean by unnecessary options. I mean, it's good the way you can shake the head the way you want to, but come on. Like, this is kind of like a bit much, right? I mean, even you guys can agree. Fuck it, I'll just leave it like that. I don't want to be spending a lifetime and a half just trying to figure that out. Um, type, serious. Oh, we got to look from the front. Serious, wrinkled. I mean, it's Morgan Freeman. Of course he's going to have wrinkles. Legend had it. Hasn't Morgan Freeman had wrinkles since he was a baby? It's like the bridge of the nose. How come when I'm scaling the nose, you, you can't tell anything? When the nose is getting scaled, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. I don't know, maybe so. It, maybe it's the middle of it? Oh, it's, the, it's like the very middle, okay. Um, I don't know what Morgan Freeman has, so I guess we'll leave it like that. Uh, let's see, we'll go down, up. Oh, God, look at that news. What the fuck? Dude almost looks like Worf from Star Trek. <laughs> um... No, it's Morgan Freeman, man. We got to get him right. We got to get Morgan Freeman right. Can't let him go out like that. Um, what type of nose does Morgan Freeman have? Dude, I, I don't know what type of nose Morgan Freeman has. If I would have known I was going to do this, I should have looked up like a picture on the internet or something. Matter of fact, let me do that right now. Like, I really want to look up a, a picture of Morgan Freeman. I, let me see if I can find one real quick. And I'm mad I didn't do this earlier. I think I got a good picture of him. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he got those facial freckles. Facial freckles. All right? In some of these pictures, he has a high top fade. In other pictures, he has like a... Like almost like a fro. Like a mini fro. I didn't see that option, so I guess we'll just roll with what we got. Um, I remember him having a high top. All right. As far as his nose go, I mean, his nose is fine. What does R1, R1 and L1 do? Oh, shit. Oh, it's, it just does it faster. Okay. Um, is this Morgan Freeman? Uh, let's leave it like that. Again, too many options, man. Way too many options. Let's go with that. Whoa, that's too low for him. Way too low for Morgan Freeman. His nose is like kind of up there. Truth be told, it is kind of up there. Th that's actually him, based on the picture I'm looking at. Oh, damn. Hell no, that's not. <laughs> no, like he has a bigger bump on his on the front of his nose. It, like, it's actually pretty big, but it's not that damn big. I, I wonder if there's a way I can stretch out his nostrils, though. That's probably as good knows. as we're going to get him. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Gotta stretch these nostrils out as much as long as we can. There, there we go. Right, so that's as good as those gonna get. Take a look at this picture again. Um, he has some pretty high cheekbones. So let's see if we can get his cheekbones right. Cheek, his cheekbones are kind of high. We'll leave him like that. So handsome. I feel like I'm making Barack Obama more than I'm making. <laughs> I'm making uh him. Try to widen this out some more. This is like a little bit wider. I mean, these little fine that? details right here, you can't really tell. Is 
his top lip? No, his top lip is like smaller than his bottom. Because of the mustache we're going to get him. Yeah, we want to shrink that. Mm. Alright. Let's see about those lips. We want to widen this a little bit more. I'm trying to get like a plain face. Morgan Freeman, he has like a smaller. That's almost as good. Not bad. Not bad. His ears. Oh, his ears is kind of in. Oh, hell no. That's wrong. That's very wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah, the end like that. We'll scale these down because his ears are not that damn big. I, was, I would say those are like a fair, fair size for Morgan Freeman. Because he does have some Dumbo ears. Looking at these pictures, he, he literally looks like he could fly away. Uh, <laughs> let's see what now. Um, we got to space out this. Let's space out as much as possible. I guess this doesn't matter because it's not. There's really no options for that. Oh, no, I guess that's more for the women anyway. I guess that's for the women too. Um, chin, like his chin is kind of like, I would say, what? It's kind of in or it's kind of, no, no, he has a wide chin. Very wide chin. Hello, handsome. His jawline is kind of, uh, like his jawline is kind of in some. I think his jawline is in. You know, one of those things you got to look at from the side and then look at it from the front. Because you can't really tell from... I don't know, you can't really tell from looking at it. It is pretty wide, though, so I guess I was going to leave it like you that. as good as the day we met. All right, so we got the nose. Actually, his nose looks nothing like the way it, it does in a picture. So I can get this bump right. His nose is kind of in. It's not in that much. I, I want to sell Morgan short. Like, he got some type of reach out. That's better. That's, I would say that's a better representation of what it looks like. They say tight. Like what they mean by tight. Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. Oh, it's a random nose selection. Not bad. Not bad. A wide nose. Oh, okay. Here we go. See, this is better. Wide nose. Oh, looking good. Let me see. That's actually pretty accurate to, to the picture I'm looking at. Even though it looks weird, it's kind of accurate to the picture I'm looking. Yeah, not bad. I'll say this one is pretty accurate, but it's damn. Strong chin. I'll just leave it like this. Um, besides that, No, I don't think he has that much neck fat. I mean, he old, but and he hanging some underneath there, but he's not like that bad. Uh, I'll do him like right there. Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish. So I never did fix his cheeks or whatever. Let's see, we got tight, we got crease, wrinkled. Of course, he's wrinkled. He's old. Morgan That's Freeman. That's handsome guy. Actually, for an old man, Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman has some exceptionally smooth skin. I'll just leave it at creased. No, no, I think that's fair. Creased. I think I did this already. Right. Oh, here we go. I'll leave that out. Color. Oh, is this for the entire... Okay. So it's for the entire skin tone, not just for the... Um,
not just for that part. Uh, Morgan Freeman is kind of like tan. He's kind of like right, I'll say right here. Because they don't really have like an accurate skin tone for the guy. Why is his forehead light, lighter than like the bottom of his face? It's kind of weird though. His eyes, truth be told, his eyes are kind of like. Almost like a. I want to say like a black, almost like a dark gray. Steel. Yes. There we go. We're going to leave it like that. They're one of my favorite things about you. His eyes are kind of wide. Not that damn wide. His eyes not that far in his damn head either. City out pretty far. I was, I'll say that's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so now we got to get the hair color right. Most definitely. Okay, I'm Morgan Freeman without some, uh, without some gray. I like it. It makes you look younger. And, I, and we need facial hair. How can we forget the facial hair? So Morgan Freeman has a clear full beard. He has a lined beard on the outline of his chin and he has a goatee to match. So we gotta find something like that. Let's see if we can find something that accurately yeah, like something like this but have like the, the lines on the side of his chin. Mm, close. Yeah, like this right here. Like this is actually it. Even though it's a bit more rough looking. When you look at Morgan Freeman's faces, the, the beard that it's this. Well, actually not because it's missing a goatee in the middle. I mean, if you're going to get it right, you're going to get it right, man. You can't. it over too much man it's Morgan Freeman you gotta get him right I wonder if they have that with the right here I think this is it not really cause he doesn't does he have any do they have anything else that see this is what I'm looking for right here this but I need that I cannot find that at all. Well, I guess this is like the cl so. I mean, if if you're doing Morgan Freeman, I guess this is like the closest thing. I mean, this is like the closest thing you're gonna get to him. What do you think, hon? Huh? Uh, I just remember, gotta make that you bottom lip a bit more. I don't need to be out more. Just need to hang more. This bottom lip is out there. Not that much, but it's out there. Such a great smile. There we go. Let's see if they got a mini afro. Is it? Uh, I guess closest thing to Morgan Freeman I can I can see. Yes, yes, because more Morgan Freeman clearly wants to wear the fuck boy. He clearly wants to rock the fuck boy hairstyle. No, this is like the closest thing I can see to him. 
not this. His hairline isn't that far back. He actually has a pretty good hairline for his age. This is it. Uh, I don't even know what the hell. And his nose is fucked up. I just noticed the bridge of his nose is kind of out. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. because it's pretty in there. Oh, very strapping. No, he ain't in that damn far. What do you think, huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? It's smushed in. That's basically I love that face. Get right there. It's, it's getting closer and closer to looking like him. Only thing I, I can say is that the hair color is just uh Hair is a silver. It's like clearly looks like a blackish gray, like like that. That's a, that's the closest thing I can get to a hair color. Okay, so we have that. So now that we got that taken care of. Wait a minute, I was right. Like, he did have a high top fade up in Bruce Almighty. That's the picture I'm looking at. He had a high top fade in Bruce Almighty. Man, let's give him back that high top fade. There we go. I like it. Rocking that in Bruce Almighty. So, now that we have this, um. Hello, handsome. All right, so now what next? What's next? Face, body. Okay, this is Morgan Freeman now, so he's a relatively thin guy, but he isn't like Yeah, like he's a thin guy, but he's, but he's not like skinny, skinny. Like he has some type of fat on him, but he's skinny. That's the best I could do. Looks frail as hell. There's Morgan Freeman right there, man. Extras, markings, freckles, boom. Oh, see, here we go. Now we're really getting into detail. My handsome there you go, man. We got Morgan Freeman with freckles. What else they got? Oh, hell. You can really do some fucked up shit. Forehead blemishes. Damn, they got a lot of stuff. They actually have a lot more than what I thought they did. Exactly how long is this going for? It's 29 minutes. Uh, let's wrap this up. I don't want to keep this going for like much longer. Uh, splashes on the neck. Damage. Damn. That was fucked up. Oh, look at that. We got a. That, that's the, so. So that's the scar from the guy from uh from The Witcher Three. That's something right there. 
Man, nothing too much here. Damn, got some fucked up stuff. So the markings, as far as like the freckles on the middle of his face, that's all him. That's Morgan Freeman all day. Wait, wait, he didn't get him. So handsome. I guess when they try to give him to him, they're not giving him to him. Looking good. Uh, they are not letting me get him. The oh, apply. There we go. This one's fucked up. I couldn't couldn't apply. All right. All right, there we go. Yeah, man, that's Morgan Freeman all the way. Morgan fucking Freeman. I okay, wonder if we can make her look different. So, so if you make her look different, I wonder if that's really going to change the effect of the baby. So, so, so I'm going to just do this one quick. like a Spanish chick. Esperanza. Look at female. I mean, this is the 1940s, so this is actually kind of... I have the best hairdresser, I swear. Eyebrows. No, I don't want to focus too much on this. I'm not playing as a female anyway. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Looking good. There we go. Nose. Pretty sure they got a type for me. Sweetie. Like my nose, right? Yeah, the nose fine. You don't need a nose job or anything. Just line. Go get that shit chopped off. You do know you've got the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. I think Sean has my eyes. Oh, we never did look at the color. Hon, you look as good as the day we met. I don't really care about much of this anyway. This woman looks strung out as shit. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I like that. Those laugh lines, my God. You have such a cute chin. That looks nice. You have such great cheekbones. Nah, that's too damn thin. You still got it. Yeah, now with those lips, you don't. Such a great smile. That's just too damn thin. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that works. You look lovely. All right, that's better. Uh, let's take a look at the body type here. All right, now this ought to be fun, right? Yeah, nice big and brolic. Oh, wait, and shit. Hell no. Um, we damn sure don't want a toothpick. Let's say thin. A little bit of body fat on her. Nobody wants a toothpick, but you know, you gotta have a little bit of meat on the bone. Wonder if we can get a, like a, a better side view. Let's keep it right in the middle like that. That's just fine. All right, we got that straightened out. Swear. All right, we got that straightened out, right? So now I want. I mean, I got Morgan Freeman already, so I didn't have my fun with this. Now let's just try to make me. <laughs> like, let's just try to make me. I made Morgan Freeman already. I was just having fun with that. I thought it would have been cool, but yeah, let's just move on to me. So, how do I erase all this shit? I just want to get rid of everything at once. Uh, oh, I have no damn freckles. Such strong cheekbones. Damn it, I gotta reconstruct this whole damn face. It shouldn't take me long anyway. First off, let's start with the hair. Just need me something that matches me. This is like the closest thing that they have. Not bad. Not bad. Hair color. It's black. Hair color is definitely black. My lips are not this big. That's more looking. of me. Man, Sean has your smile. Fix that nose. Most definitely, we gotta fix that nose up. There we go. That's what I was trying to do earlier when I was trying to make Morgan Freeman. To get that wide nose look. I, I didn't even know how to do that. But my nose not that damn wide. Not even close. I don't say about that that width. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? I definitely gotta get this down. This is not It's not in that far, but holy shit. Is it? No, it is in pretty far. Kinda need a picture. Look at myself, man. You look know. as good as the day we met. Uh, I really don't see what the hell I'm doing with this. Okay, I see. Uh, I guess we'll leave it like that. It doesn't really matter. I ain't got too much out there. That's, that's enough. I gotta get this neck fat right. Hell no, it's not in that much. There you go. I do say something so like that. that. Um, I got a pretty in chin. Let's try to see if we can line up a little bit more. Like that. Eyes. They're in a little bit. I'll say My like that. Husband. Uh, let's 
Let's try to Yeah, man, my eyes are not this damn big. It's not like I'm on LSD or something. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's hello, handsome. That's a good. I mean, my eyes not in like that, but I mean, some of this stuff is gonna. You know, I try to get them as out as I possibly Once can. Has your eyes. They're not sunk in my head. They're out. I'll clean up with there we go. Well, my hair ain't got no damn wrinkles. Like my shit is kind of smooth. Is it just me or does the texture look better than the smooth? Or maybe that's just me. It's not even textured. Like, my forehead is pretty smooth. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? There we go. Get that. And I gotta get my goatee. I don't have the sideburns. I just got the goatee. So I gotta get that facial hair right. This is actually me. I don't even have a full goatee yet. Ooh, it's rough. Very manly. So how do I get rid of these facial scars? Eye socket shade. Yeah, because I don't have this. What the hell? Lip color. Forehead blemish. Don't have those. How the fuck do I get rid of the ones that's on my eyes? Well, hello, handsome. There we go. Gotta get rid of all that. This is much better. I'm pretty satisfied with the nose. Fix that chin at the bottom. I think we're good. Once I fix up this chin, I think we're good. You have great and that should be it. That's that's me. Oh, we get the ears right. Of course, we got to get the ears right if we're going to do accurate. Here's our little bit further back. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Not that close to my. Or are they? They are. Not that damn big. They're not that small. Oh. That's some nice size awesome. ears. So that's that's it. Yeah, man, that's a lot. Eye color. I did not get my eye color. It's kind of like a dark. It's almost like a light brown. Not bad. Okay, so not that's not it. Bad. That's me. And I gotta get the body type right. I'm a pretty large, muscular guy. So I'm gonna get him like right here. I have some muscle definition. I should. That didn't take long at all. So that's pretty much it. That's me. As close as I can get to myself. So that is me. Me and the wifey. That's a baby. So, wait a minute. What the fuck is she looking at? Dude, there's no mirror right there. 
Well, I got a girl cookie sheet hanging up. <laughs> got a cookie sheet hanging up. Well, of course, they got a newspaper right there. Uh, some scissors right there for, for all your little pubic hairs that you try to snip, snip. Yeah, that's right. I like my woman well shaven, um, well trimmed. Except for shower, is this? Why does it look like a fucking plug outlet? Oh, that's kind of weird. Got a small bucket there. A little pube brush. All your pubic hairs right there, Mr. Handy. Washroom. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. What I got? Another fine product of General Atomics International. Right. So I can't click on any of this stuff. Get that working right. A Braxo for all your cleaning needs. A Braxo. I'm trying to take a look around the house. Of course, we got Mr. Handy right here. He's been going back and forth. Check what's up in here. Hell no, you ain't getting me copyrighted. Fuck that shit. We know what that's going to do. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Camera, of course, you want to take some nice pictures. A nice American flag right there. Little USA. It's a weird paradox, man. Like, like this, it's almost like a fusion uh, of like the 1940s and like a futuristic 1940s. That's basically what it's like. It's almost like an oxymoron. It's, it's, it's like a futuristic 1940s. That's what it is. Like you got robots and everything, but it's all set in like a 1940s theme. So, I guess it's time to put some clothes on. Twice. How do you mean you can't get dressed twice? You ain't got no damn clothes on as it is. You just got a white t-shirt and some slacks, man. Throw a shirt on, damn. War never changes. You got that right. Okay, nice. You can open up the door. Nice bed. Oh, great. Chair. Oh, sh yes. Let's have a seat. Uh, let's uh, admire the scenery here. Ah, uh, yes. The bed. I banged my wife on that last night. That's the reason why that pillow's crooked. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going here. Is, is the sound working on my... Is it working? Let me turn it up some more. So first things first, let me go to the settings. I, I, I didn't even do this. The subtitles work on. The subtitles, turn those on. I'm, I'm going to leave those pit boy settings, settings alone for now. Um, audio, voice, music, effects, footsteps. And we're just going to save it from right here. Save the game. Auto save. There we go. Alright, so that's everything in the main room. Got the closet right here. A bunch of stuff that we can't touch. Oh, oh we can close the door. Open that shit back up. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. Oh, we got another chair right there. Baby rattle. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? How about you pick them up so people won't fall? Oh, and there's the baby right there. Oh, chocolate baby. Towels, blinds, door, what's up in here? Blast radius. Most fun game they had back here, baseball. The glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. You know so what I'm noticing, man? I didn't even get to name the baby. Spelling or read it smashing blocks together. I'm noticing, I'm noticing, man. I didn't even get to name the baby. Or even get to really pick what the baby looked like. I just had to do that based on what the parents looked like. That's kind of fucked up. Um, 
We're taking a tour of this house. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Of course. All right, so let's see what we got for breakfast, man. We got some, uh, absolutely nothing depending on what the hell this dude was talking about. What the hell? I go every time I get, get ready to click on something, it... Can you... Okay, there we go. Can someone so yeah, small drink so much? The Cosworth's really good with Sean. Hey, hon. Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? <laughs> right. Exactly how much we're supposed to get thirty first drinking. Oh, what we got in here? Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. Plus. Mm. Everything here looks good. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! Voltec calling. 